My name is Kani Wignarajo, and I'm the UNDP Regional Director for Asia and the Pacific and the UN Assistant Secretary General. And I'm here visiting the U US Institute of Peace to have discussions on Afghanistan, uh, looking at the current situation and the future engagement of the UN and UNDP in this country. So UNDP has just completed a socioeconomic analysis. We do this annually. This is our 2023 analysis that shows that while there has been uh, some part of the Afghan economy that has uh, stabilized, uh, this doesn't mean that poverty has reduced. In fact, we're seeing increasing levels uh, of poverty, now close to 69% across uh, Afghanistan. And what a key part of this is households going into increasing debt. This is a, a big shift also, even from last year, where households are selling off their assets uh, to just keep up with increasing prices, uh, which their incomes just cannot keep up with. So to me, when you have a situation where there is not just a national uh, economic issue, but locally, uh, economies are crumbling, then you've got to look at building back the resilience of local markets. And that's in Afghanistan, a large part of that is run by micro and small enterprises. So for UNDP, a critical part of our efforts in Afghanistan this year and next year is to look at women-owned businesses, women in trade and business, um, and support them directly. Uh, every woman in Afghanistan that we support, 65,000 of them, uh, employ at least five or six other women or family members, and then they each feed and take care of a household of 10. So this is a way at least to keep that resilience going uh, in these communities. You know, the UN uh, stays and delivers no matter how tough the situation is. And in different parts of the world, we uh, have to work in countries that have state authorities that are not recognized by the member states of the General Assembly. Uh, so this is not new uh, to us. For us, the primary issue is how do you engage directly with people and support people uh, to get on with their lives. So improving their choices, their opportunities, this is going to be uh, the way uh, forward. But also a big issue here is that an authority that does not recognize the rights and space of women and girls to earn, to learn, to get on with their lives, that is a huge issue. That's half the population of a country. That's a billion dollar loss to the economy. So whether you look at it from a human rights point of view, a justice and equality point of view, uh, or for an economic uh, point of view, it just doesn't work. So this is a daily conversation and negotiation of increasing a very principled stand that the UN brings to the table, which is that women uh, must have the same equal rights uh, as men. I think with the wars in, in Ukraine, with uh, everything that's going on in the, in the Middle East, I think you're seeing a huge drop off, uh, not just of development assistance, but also of humanitarian assistance. And this is a reality. Uh, Afghanistan is already seeing a drawdown of some of those uh, funds that it uh, was coming uh, to it. And so the question for us is, uh, how do you do more with less? You have to look at areas where your investment is giving you a higher return. And to me, uh, investing in, in girls and women uh, has always been uh, a way uh, to go and to improve the return on that investment. Mm -hmm.